Corp laws bring you the laws and policies which affect the corporates threadbare for wide consumption by netizens. The complex legal metrics of corporate laws, IP laws, Competition Act, foreign exchange, regulatory structure and capital market regulations affect multifarious stakeholders. It is not just knowing the headline that matters but the substance and a comprehensive knowledge of economic issues and their influences. Our regular news coverage on developments in the corridors of power, first-hand reports and policy proposals and interviews of those who influence the economy are all aimed at making you aware and equipped with the power of information and knowledge. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Rubaru with TIOL2. As we all are aware about the GST hitting our doorsteps, today with us we have the taxation head of Yum Bites, Mr. Dharmendra Gupta, who will be sharing his views. My first question would be to you regarding the, uh, the impact of the GST on the restaurant sector. So well, what do you like to say about that? So as far as hospitality industry is concerned, yes, there are issues um, in GST which we can foresee based on the draft GST law that has come before uh, two and a half months. So, uh, you know, uh, as of now, there are provisions with respect to centralized registration. So if we have centralized registration, uh, you know, we can manage all the branches across India with one location, but under GST, there is a requirement of taking registration in each and every state which is which means that it is going to uh, increase the compliance burden manifolds so we have to file five returns for one state which effectively mean you know we will have to file five returns for 29 states multiplied by 29 states so it is going to increase the compliance burden manifold then uh, there is a concept called reverse charge as of now, we have only five to six services which are covered under reverse charge, wherein uh, the service recipient is not right. uh, liable to, you know, make the compliances, the service mm -hmm. provider. So, uh, we are not aware of under GST, what kind of services would get covered under reverse charge. So, that is something also which we have to see under GST. And, uh, you know, uh, they are talking about uh, liquor for human consumption is out of GST, mm -hmm. which is an right. integral part of hospitality industry. And uh, they are also talking about taxing aerated beverages at the rate of 40%, which is quite significantly high because at present the customer is paying 20 to 25% taxes on aerated beverages, right. Right. which is going to increase to 40% under GST regime, which is again creating problem for the hospitality industry. So, uh, as you are aware that the government has announced 1st April 2017 to be the date where GST will enter our lives. So, uh, what do you, what policies are you looking forward for? Uh, is there anything in particular, what would be the challenges that you would face? So, if I talk about challenges, so GST would require the, you know, overall of entire supply chain system, IT system, HR system and contracts review so it will include hell amount of you know um, task uh, which our tax person will have to undergo so definitely um, implementation of gst will require significant time and if i talk about first of april as the timeline which the government is uh, talking about it seems to be very challenging for industry so is there any gearing up or are there are there any uh, like provisions that already have been taken place that you have been taken up like policies that uh, you've set up already or are you looking forward to do that in the hospitality and the restaurant sector? Yeah. So uh, as far as policies are concerned, we are taking care of, you know, uh, IT systems are in place because that is the backbone uh, for implementation of GST. So we have started looking after the various chart of accounts mm -hmm. and the IT system is in place to take care of uh, the GST implementation. So we have started taking up the IT uh, space within JAM. And uh, coming to my second question uh, with regard to abatement. As we know, hotel and restaurant sector and abatement go hand in hand. 
and something like that are you looking for something like that to be uh, implemented in the hospitality sector and the restaurant sector as well okay so if i talk about abatement so that is against the spirit of gst because under gst there will be complete flow of uh, you know uh, credit chain so uh, i don't think that government is going to give any abatement to the sector which is against the spirit of gst for why i'm saying so is you know if they give us abatement of let's say uh, 60% but i will be getting the entire input tax as a credit so okay. there will be a refund situation okay and so the concept of gst is tax everything and give credit of everything yeah so abatement is against the principle of gst so i don't think that you know government is going to give us yeah and uh, coming back to the point of gst how is it that you would want to grow once the gst is in place like because it i'm sure it will be a very big step forward because like everything is going to be centralized and then there you will be needing a lot of permissions with a lot of sectors like a lot of states so how is it that you are going to plan out all of it and what would be your opinion on it like is it something that you would want to uh, is it something that you would want to increase or decrease in the number of uh, like restaurants and chains and okay. everything okay so uh, definitely uh, under gst we will have to take registrations uh, from various uh, state authorities and from central authority for uh, as far as gst is concerned so we'll have to increase the uh, registration requirement under gst regime which as i told you that you know under gst we will have to take registration in each and every state which is not right. the case as of now as of today as of today we can manage with single centralized registration but under gst it will be decentralized registration which means we will have to take registration government permissions in each and every state which is going to increase the compliance burden manifold so we expect the government to at least take care of this particular phenomena for service industry and they can uh, if they have any solution uh, you know uh, to keep this compliance requirement to bare minimum so i think that would be appreciable and uh, a little uh, if we deviate from the point like i would like to ask you about the restaurant sector like in general like if you have a broad outlook towards the restaurant sector what would be your view point on that and how would you like like to improve and improvise on the provisions that are already there okay so uh, as far as uh, existing provisions are concerned and uh, the provisions that would be there under gst yeah so uh, the tax rate is not going to be uh, substantially different as of now because today if i talk about vat and service tax we charge approximately 20% 18 right. to 20% from the consumer right and if i talk about the possible rate under gst they are also talking about 18 to 20% so as far as taxation is concerned from the consumers from a normal consumer that is not going to increase substantially but yes um, as far as uh, you know uh, aerated beverages and all those things are concerned uh definitely we will have to rationalize things plus there would be uh, uh you know seamless flow of credits which is not as of now so we will have to re devise our uh, pricing strategy right in order to give benefit to the ultimate consumer right. so we will have to revisit the entire uh, pricing strategy of okay. pizzas burgers and all those which we supply in a restaurant right right in our gst scenario vis-a-vis you know which is at present so we'll have to undergo the entire change in the pricing strategy we'll have to undergo the compliance you know uh, we will have to revisit the compliance strategy we'll have to revisit the supply chain strategy so there are a lot of things which we'll have to revisit you know uh, okay. in in anticipation of gst from 1st of april 2017 yeah and uh, as far as the sector that you have been targeting with the people sector is concerned like the lower middle upper middle and upper uh, like upper class people do you think there will be a shift in that sector as well i don't think because, so because uh, like <clears throat> once the once the gst comes into play and everything goes down like with regard to taxation so a lot of people do not know about the breakup a lot of people wouldn't know about how the tax now will be calculated do you think it will be a problem with this the the restaurant sector okay so uh, in the initial months uh, we will have to uh, uh, educate the uh, consumers uh, basis the query which they put on facebook and various uh, social media right. so initial months will be tough we will have to educate the consumers that there is no 
substantial increase as far as taxes are concerned provided the rates are in the range of 18 to 20 percent so uh, once the gst is into place you see growth or Definitely you see yes. stat uh, you see a static environment for a bit and then a growth yeah for so for initial months uh, there might be inflation right. but going forward once the credit would be available which are not available as of now right so right. there would be decrease in inflation okay and that <laughs> decrease would be high or uh, a pretty high low medium uh, initial initial initially like depending upon the rates if we break it into three phases <coughs> yeah how would you categorize it? So initially, uh, I think uh, depending upon the what kind of rate which right. the government comes up with. Right. If they come up with a significantly high rate, so it is right. definitely going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, absorbently high. Right. In the initial months. If they come up with a rate of 18 to 20 percent, I think it would be manageable. Right. And uh, so initially, yes, there would be inflation. It is going to be high. Right. Then it is going to be stable and then it is going to be going to come down yeah it so, is like the bell curve yeah so as far as like i could gather by the interaction that i had with you you are well equipped and well aware and well prepared for what is going to happen so is there anything that you would like to add that you would want to have in the policy or something like which you would want to have for the hospitality sector and the restaurant sector once uh, it's out there if they can bring uh, lesser services under the reverse charge mechanism, you know, for the uh, service provider to make the compliances. I think that is also going to ease out uh, okay. the pressure on the hospitality industry. One more point I would like to mention is that if they can come out with a clear and transparent uh, transactional provision. So, uh, in the case of free supplies, in the case of promotional offers, they are also talking right. about that it will be covered under GST. Right. So, if they can come out with a clear and uh, simple provisions with respect to determining the transactional value in case of promotional offers, which is an integral part of any hospitality industry. Right, right. So, I Completely think that is, yeah, so I think that is going to help the hospitality industry. Okay. That's, it's been great. It's been really yeah. great talking to you. And with talk, by talking to you, we have actually known about, a lot about the hospitality sector and the restaurant sector and hope the GST does do justice to each and every sector as well as the hospitality and the restaurant sector yeah. because trust me we also want yummy in our tummy so <laughs> definitely <laughs> it will be great definitely thank I you so much thank you so much for giving yeah. your time for us thank you my pleasure